Here's a question I get asked a lot. What is space? No, not the boundless three-dimensional continuum we exist in, and not the vast expanses beyond the Earth's atmosphere. I'm talking, of course, about space treatment, or supportive parenting for anxious childhood emotions. In this video, I'll explain what space is, where it comes from, and what actually happens in space therapy. So let's start with what space is. Space is a parent-based treatment for childhood anxiety and obsessive-compulsive disorder. It's basically a form of psychotherapy that treats children's problems. But being parent-based means that it's the parent or parents who actually attend the sessions and learn how to help their child. So rather than how you might think about therapy for a child, as a therapist, meeting with a child, maybe once a week, listening to them or trying to teach them a coping strategy, in space, the parents would be meeting with the therapist and learning how they can help their child by changing their own behaviors. Sometimes space is done alongside a child-based therapy, but space can also be done just on its own, without the child being in treatment at all. So that's what space is. But what actually happens in space therapy? Well, to understand that, we first need to understand a little bit about the theory and the science that informed the development of this new therapeutic approach. So where does space come from? And what are some of the principles that inform it? We can start with an important insight into how anxiety works in childhood. You're probably familiar with the idea of fight or flight, meaning that when we're scared or anxious, our system gets all ramped up to confront the threat or run away from it. But if you think about it, it's pretty obvious that children are going to have to deal with threats differently than adults. As adults, sure, we can fight our way out of a jam or run away and escape. But what about very young children? Have you ever seen a baby running away from anything or attacking someone that scared them? Babies and young children aren't really capable of independently coping with dangers. And that is precisely why from the moment they're born, children actually have another system for coping with threats and things that scare them. And it's actually not very mysterious. We all know what babies do when they're upset. They cry, they scrunch up their little faces, and they let out really loud noises. By crying, they're letting their parents know that they feel scared of something so that their parents can come to the rescue. And of course, when we're the parents, we definitely notice when something is scaring our children. We don't just ignore those signals that our child is upset. We jump in to rescue them as soon as possible. And once we've dealt with the threat, we do another important thing for the child. We help to soothe them and calm them back down again so that they can go back to feeling okay. What all this means is that anxiety in children is really not just a one-person event. It's really an interpersonal event involving the child signaling their fear to the parent and the parent picking up that signal and responding back to the child with protection and soothing. What does all this have to do with treatment for anxiety disorders? Well, space is based on the idea that since child anxiety is almost always an interpersonal event that involves the parent as well as the child, then for children who experience a lot of anxiety, a lot of the time, meaning children with anxiety disorders, they're going to involve their parents a lot as well. And this can be really hard on the parents, who may find their whole life being taken over by their child's anxiety and the need to help them not feel anxious. But it also gives us a new way to help anxious children. If parents are so important to a child's anxiety problem and are likely to be constantly sucked into responding to the child's anxiety, then by changing how the parent is responding, we may actually be able to help the child overcome their anxiety problem. And that is exactly what happens in space.
parents learn to respond differently to their child. And by doing that, they help the child overcome their problem. So now we know what space is and some of the background for where the treatment is coming from. But what actually happens in space treatment? Well, parents who do space to help their child overcome anxiety will learn to make some changes in how they have been responding to their child's problem. Space treatment focuses mostly on two kinds of changes in parent behavior. First, parents learn how to respond supportively to their anxious child. Now, you may think, I'm already really supportive of my child. But in space, support is defined in a very specific way. A parent is being supportive when they show their child two very important things, acceptance and confidence. Acceptance means showing your child that you understand something is genuinely hard for them. It means explicitly acknowledging and validating what your child is feeling, even if it's really different from what you yourself might be feeling or from what you would like your child to be feeling. This can be as simple as saying to your child, I get it, this is really hard for you, or I understand you're feeling really worried right now. The second ingredient in support is confidence. This means telling and showing your child that you are confident that they can actually handle feeling anxious some of the time. That you believe they'll be okay despite the feelings of distress and that they can cope with those feelings. This can be as simple as saying, I believe you can handle it, or I know you're going to be okay. When you put the two parts of the supportive message together, it might sound like, I get that you're really scared, and I know that you can handle feeling that way and be okay. So practicing being supportive and making this kind of supportive statement in response to your child's distress is the first of the two main changes that parents learn to make in space. The second has to do with accommodation. Accommodation is a term that describes lots of changes that parents make in their own behavior because their child is anxious and they want to help them feel less anxious. For example, if your child has social anxiety, you may accommodate by speaking in place of them in social situations. Or if your child has a lot of worried thoughts, you may accommodate by answering tons of worried questions that they keep on asking you. Or if your child is scared to be alone or away from you, you may accommodate by never leaving them with a babysitter or by always sleeping next to them at night. These kinds of accommodations are almost always going to be happening when a child has anxiety because of that natural reliance of children on their parents for help in coping with fear and because of parents' natural tendency to step in and protect and soothe anxious children. In fact, research shows that almost 100% of parents who have an anxious child do these kinds of accommodations almost every single day, and often many times a day. But even though parents make these accommodations to help their child feel less anxious, research also shows that continuing to make these accommodations actually achieves the opposite, meaning that as parents accommodate more, children tend to stay anxious, and the anxiety even tends to get worse over time. In another video, I'll talk more about why accommodations tend to maintain anxiety over time. But for now, just knowing that it does helps to understand why, alongside practicing being more supportive, parents in space learn to identify the ways that they have been accommodating and to gradually and systematically reduce or stop those accommodations. So those are the two main components of space treatment. Of course, it can be really hard work. Reducing accommodation is not always easy, and children don't always respond with enthusiasm to parents' attempts to reduce accommodation or even to their supportive statements. 
And that's why Space also includes lots of more specific tools for overcoming the challenges that can come up during the treatment process. But more and more research is showing that when parents are able to make these changes, to be more supportive and less accommodating, children can overcome even very serious anxiety disorders or obsessive compulsive disorder. And they can do it without ever having to meet with a therapist themselves and even without the parents making any special demands of the child or insisting that they change their own behavior. Parents who want to learn more about space can visit the website spacetreatment.net to find tons of resources as well as a list of therapists trained in the treatment who can work with them in person or online. And the book Breaking Free of Child Anxiety and OCD provides a step-by-step -step program for parents to implement space on their own. So that's what space is all about, a parent-based treatment to help children overcome anxiety, OCD, and related disorders. Stay tuned for more videos about parenting anxious children and adolescents. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.